Hey guys, Sam from Memphis Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. So, I don't actually know when you guys are going to see this video, but for a point of reference, I am filming on the 6th of February 2024. Now, do I have a little bit of a story to take you on today? So, as some of you may know, my YouTube mummy and Alaskan crafter Dan celebrated a birthday a few days ago when I'm filming. Her birthday is the 2nd of February and it was a milestone birthday. She turned 60. So I messaged her a little while ago um, asking her what she would like for her birthday and she said just a nice card from my UK family and I'm like no 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 that's not good enough it is a milestone birthday and I want to do something better than that. Um, so when did I message her? Um, 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 so this was back on the 26th of January she said um, a pretty card from my family I said no I need to do better than that for my mum's 60th birthday and she said a hank of UK yarn so I said perfect I will see what I can do now I am over on Instagram I don't post as often as I should and I don't go and visit the people I follow over there very often because with working outside of the home, the kids, the busy lifestyle, my scrolling time is very limited because normally when I have some spare time, guys, I want to be crocheting for things for the channel and things for my friends, etc, etc. But when she said that a hank of UK yarn would be amazing, I went straight to Instagram to a... Um, page that I follow over there called Wildflower Yarn. Now on her Instagram page and I'm looking down because I have my phone on the table on her Instagram page it says that her name is Kifa. She is a UK disabled indie dyer and if you follow her and you follow her posts you will also know that Kifa is undergoing cancer treatment at the moment as well but she is still rocking her little independent indie dyeing business and I thought I have never purchased from Wildflower Yarn I have always drooled over the yarn over there and eventually I will buy myself some so Kiefer if you're watching then I will be repurchasing um, she also has on her page Keeper of the Etherreal Realm and she says that it's the home of the unicorn poop colorway now i am going to show kiefer's instagram just briefly and then you will completely understand why i am following her because wow the rainbow goodness is phenomenal and it just keeps coming guys this lady creates magic with her hand dyed yarns so i thought right but i don't just want to buy what wildflower already has in her shops because i was looking at her shop because it's all linked onto her instagram page and my mama jan's favorite color is blue and there didn't really seem to be a lot of blue on there so i reached out to kiefer and um, I basically asked if she would custom dye me some for my mama and she very happily agreed to do so. So I am just getting up my chat with Kiefer herself so I can give you some details. Um, I explained um, who I was, what I wanted, who it was for, um, that I've got a YouTube channel, asking prices and stuff like that um saying that as long as it was blue and sparkly she had complete artistic license to do whatever she wanted because she's the expert right she's the hand dyer not me so she knows what she's doing and i asked for three hanks of a sparkle dk 
did I ask for three? Yeah, I'm sure I asked for three. Sparkle DK, which is a lightweight three. They are 100 grams and approximately 200 meters or 218 yards a piece. So mama will have 600 plus yards to play with when it gets to her. Now, Kiefer is located in Liverpool, which is up north of me. I did look at some Cornwall hand dyeing uh, peeps and their shops and Etsy's and things. But again, there wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, and I knew that Kiefer took custom orders. So I went with Kiefer up in Liverpool. And as I showed you on her page, it is just beautiful. And it's arrived, guys. And even the packaging is a rainbow. I mean, this is the perfect lady for me. And it even says, thank you for your order. Or thank you for your purchase, sorry. Um, the bag is 100% recyclable, so please dispose of me responsibly. I can't show you the other side because it's got my address on it and I'm covering Kiefer's here. But look, it's even got a rainbow on the packaging. Now... I ordered and paid for the yarn on the 30th of January. Kiefer then um, dyed it up and got it in the post to me on, where's my calendar? It doesn't say on my chat thread. Um, so yes, I paid and ordered for it on Tuesday the 30th of January and by the 3rd of February it was dyed, dried, hanked and shipped and it arrived to me today on tuesday the 6th of february um so i've decided to pop on i am going to open that package i am going to show you the yarn because although i am gifting it to mama jan mama jan is not obligated to do a video unless she wants to and i wanted to make sure that Kiefer's yarn is featured on at least one of mine or mama's channels because i told her it might be a distinct possibility and i just want to see it i need to see uh Kiefer's magic in real life and have it in my hands so i am obviously going to get this packaged up with a few other bits and pieces that I've got for Mama and send it off. And then when I know she has received it and she has opened it, then I will upload this video to YouTube because I want, I don't want to spoil the surprise for Jan. It is her 60th after all. And yes, her present is getting to her late, but Mantha is late for everything. And um, she knows, she knows what I'm like and she knows that... Um, that is the situation um and it just means that her birthday lasts longer right that's what i'm saying anyway so again please still excuse the yuckiness but i am coming out the other side i am feeling much much better so it comes in the rainbow mailer and inside it is wrapped in tissue paper and i'm gonna try and not rip this tissue paper bag or the sticker so that mama can open it up like this as well. Oh, I just managed to do it. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. It's blue, it's pretty, it is gorgeous. And there is another little something something in here as well. I don't know if I can open this without breaking it. Hang on. So, yeah, Mama, by the time this gets to you, I've already opened it and I've already seen it. I've been rifling through your presents. I'm sorry. I'm just too nosy. So, inside the little pink baggie, there is a Yorkshire tea bag. Lovely. Okay. There's a little note inside that says, Hello, Poppet. I do hope you like these three skeins. They are a semi-fade kefir. Awesome. There are a couple of little stickers that Mama will get. Of course she will. There is a little fuzzy bumblebee. And follow your dreams, says this lovely seal here. So there's a couple of those stickers. And then be a rainbow in someone else's cloud with a stitch marker which is a light bulb stitch marker saying, is it going to focus? Come on camera, you can do it. 
No, it doesn't want to. Made with love is what it says. It says, thanks so much for your order. You are so welcome. It's really not going to show it. It's a little heart saying made with love and it is on a um, light bulb stitch marker there. So those are the little extras. So I'm going to repackage the little extras. Okay. Stickers. So tea bags, stickers, stitch marker, all the bits and pieces. And I'm even going to include Kiefer's little note. And Kiefer calls everyone her poppets, even over on her channel. Not her channel, her Instagram page. And I am going to restick that as if I have never even looked inside. Mum is not going to have a clue. Well, until this video comes out anyway. And now the scrumminess. So here we go, guys. Oh, it's gorgeous. She's going to be so excited. Awesome. Okay, so like I explained, Kiefer had complete artistic license. She could have done solid, tonal, ombre, uh, light, dark. I didn't care. The only remit I had was it had to be blue and sparkle. And blue and sparkle is what we have got. Now, these are all slightly different. Like she said, they are a semi-fade. The sparkle is gorgeous. So, again, this is Wildflower Yarn. Modern yarn with a magical twist. All of her deets on the back of her um, little tag on her yarn. This colourway... Oh, they're all different colourways. Okay, so they've got three different names because they are all slightly different. So, Mama, pay attention, okay? The lightest of the fade is called Ice Castles. Look at that. And look at my camera picking up that sparkle. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, my goodness gracious. How yummy, scrummy, absolutely stunning, ethically sourced, mule sing free, hand washing, cool water, lay flat to dry, some colour bleeding may occur, hand dyed in Liverpool, UK. I don't know if I know the fibre actually. Um... I don't know the fibre, but I know that Mama is okay with any of the fibre. I am assuming that there is, um, obviously, wool in here. But it is lovely and soft. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's do a skin test, because I have super sensitive skin. Yeah, Mama, I'm rubbing your yarn all over me. I'm sure you won't mind. There we go absolutely fine you could wear it against your skin without a problem at all so this is ice castles okay so remember it is 200 meters um 218 yards so you've got ice castles and then you've got snow fairy so it is similar but there's less of the white and it's going into more of a pale blue base. I don't know if my camera is capturing that very effectively. But as you can see, in this one, there are lots of patches of white. Whereas this one, it is getting a bit more blue. Can you see that? So, yes. Ice Castles. Snow Fairy. And then finally, we have Frozen Sky. And this is way more blue can we see that guys much much more blue very little of the white in that so it is like she said a semi fade similar but not the same three completely different um colorways although using the same colors to create them so yes three hanks you wanted one hank i got you three hanks 
Now, Mama, if you're still watching, you need to block your fingers in your ears because it is rude to know how much money was spent. But for the other peeps watching who may want to go over to Wildflower Yarns, I feel it's only fair that I give prices for what I have paid. Now, because Kiefer is in the UK and I'm in the UK, I paid an amount which had shipping included. I do not know if Kiefer is willing to ship worldwide. You would have to get in contact with her via Instagram or one of her other methods. Um, let's see if the camera will pick this up. So she is on Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest. At Wildflower Yarn or wildfloweryarn.com hand dyed in the li in Liverpool UK alrighty then yep 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 so those are her deets now for these three skeins including shipping I paid 60 pounds and 50 pence which bargain especially considering it was a commission and she dyed it just for my madame i don't know if these are now exclusive colorways to jan or whether there will be some more in her shop but um i'm sure mama jan won't mind other people having a similar colorway because it's absolutely gorgeous so in us dollars what i paid is 76 dollars 10 cents for three skeins so 76 10 divided by three so they came out at about $25.30 which for hand dyed yarn is you know a, um, a reasonable price but that did include my shipping so obviously you'll have to take something off each of those so let's just say they were $23 a piece and then the rest was shipping that is still really good value for money for hand dyed UK ethnically sourced fibre that is a semi fade on a sparkle DK base. And now it's been in my hands for just a brief moment. I'm going to get it packaged up, like I said, with a few other bits and pieces for Mama Dan and get it sent to her. And then when I have had confirmation that she has received it, she has opened it. Maybe she's done a video, maybe she hasn't, I don't know. I will be able to upload this because I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Mama Jan, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you love this. I um, I tried to make your request come true and I hope that I did it justice. Kifa, you absolutely nailed it. Your shop, your talent, your skill, your ability. This is if Kifa's watching. She may be too busy to be watching and that's absolutely fine. But just in case she is watching, Kifa, thank you so, 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 so much. Any of my UK watchers, seriously, go over to Instagram, check out Wildflower Yarn. If you're in the market for some hand-dyed yarn, I couldn't recommend Kiefer enough. This is actually my first time experience um, purchasing hand-dyed yarns and even asking for a um, custom-made colourway. Um, and it all turned out absolutely perfectly. Within a week, my request was paid for dyed and shipped within a week and that kind of turnaround is absolutely fantastic Kiefer you are so so good at what you do I like making the strings into pretty things but you color the strings and make them so magically beautiful I will be a repeat purchaser from you I just don't know when and of course some of your um, rainbow colour palettes are going to come and live with me at some point because rainbow and sparkle are my favourite. Um, but I just have to wait for a moment where um, I've built up my yarn budget again. Not that you are um, unreasonable, not at all. It's just I have been really naughty in the past couple of weeks and blown through my budget. My budget and more than my budget <laughs> so i need to build up my funds but as soon as i can i am gonna repur uh, repurchase or purchase again rather so there we go guys wildflower yarn on instagram and facebook seriously go and check her out even if you're not in a position to buy yarn at the moment just go and give her a like and a follow um, go check out her shop see what she has readily available or 
do what I did and privately message her through Instagram and let her know your wants and needs and work with her to create something specially for you because we all deserve a treat once in a while. And back to Mama Jan, big, big, happiest of 60th birthdays. I am so glad I started my YouTube channel. I am so glad that we crossed paths. I am so thankful every single day to have you in my life. I love you more than you will ever, ever know. And I'm actually quite pleased my camera is blurry and not being focused in on me right now because I am rough. Oh, and as soon as I say that, it, um, it ping. Uh, but yeah, Mama Jan, you are one in a million. Um, here's to many, many, many more birthdays. I hope this yarn is everything you wish for and more. It has come from here in the UK, not my part of the UK, but still the UK. It was specially hand dyed for you, um, with you in mind. Um, and every time you look at it and then when you eventually use it and turn it into something, I hope it will remind you of me forever. Of course, Mike and the children send their love as well, but they are at work and school while this is happening. Um, so yeah, all, all, all the bestest, bestest ever birthday wishes to you. Big kisses. Mwah. The biggest of huggles. And I hope one day in the future I get to hug you for real. That would really make my day, my life, everything complete. Um, but in the meantime, know that these yarns are being sent to you with a lot of love. And I'm going to cuddle them. And when you get them if you cuddle them like this you are getting a hug from me um and i can't wait to see what you make but no pressure i know that when we get yarns like this we have to find the perfect project but i know one day you will turn them into something absolutely beautiful so mama jan happy birthday i love you so 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 much so does mike and the kids um i cannot wait to see your face if you do open on camera um and if not to get your excited message to say that you've opened it and how much you love it because i have every faith you will and again Kiefer, if you did watch this i cannot do your yarn justice my camera is rubbish but awesome 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 job absolutely beautiful it literally does look like ice crystals twinkling away it is absolutely stunning all three of them are you did an excellent excellent job thank you so so much so guys thanks for watching thanks for being here hopefully <clears throat> hopefully we will all get to see mama jan's reaction if she does open on video but if not that is absolutely fine um and it was a pleasure to uh work with Kiefer over at wild flower yarns and um with my mama in mind to spoil her for her 60th so i'm gonna leave it there thank you for being with me today please do come back for another video tomorrow i at this moment in time don't know what that is but there is always shenanigans going on here at mouthless mates as most of you know so until i see you again stay safe be kind look after one another get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in i will see you in the next one or around the youtube streets love you guys I'll put wildflower links down below. Check them out. Love ya.